time for the faith walk today. And the faith walk is based in Romans 3 and 23. It says, for everyone has sinned. We have all fallen short of God's glorious standard. Yet God freely and graciously declares that we are righteous. He did this through Jesus Christ when he freed us from the penalty of our sins. Uh, I know a lot of people would like to, um, they would like to pretend that there is this, um, because you're newly saved, your righteous ain't really righteous. You still kind of still raggedy and you got to be saved a little bit longer. Or I've been in church and I know Jesus better than you. So he loves me more. God's love spreads evenly across all of us. Now, some of us may be more mature in our relationship, but the Bible says all have sinned and fallen short of God's glorious standard. It lets you know that every Christian has a past, but every sinner has a future. Don't beat yourself up because of the lifestyle you came from. Don't let nobody else beat you up because they've been in church longer. Don't let nobody beat you up with their faith. I know some people who have done that. And I don't think God is ever pleased when you abuse somebody else because they're not where you are yet. Maybe they just got into church. Maybe they just start reading the Bible. Maybe there's some things that they don't understand. Well, you and your good, godly Christian self, be kind. And teach them and show grace to them. And make sure you do it in a loving spirit. Like, okay, you're not supposed to do that wrong attitude. Or maybe you can offer, hey, have you tried it this way? Hey, have you considered this? I know this may be your norm, but why don't you try this on? This may be different. You may get a different result. You can always show love, grace, and kindness when you're trying to show someone um, uh, how to develop a, a better walk with Christ. You know what I mean? Then remember this, when they stand before God, you're not going to be there. God not going to ask you, did they do it right? Did they say it right? Did they pray right? Nope. All have sinned and fallen short. We all have a relationship with God and we all have a responsibility to seek him and to grow and to learn more and to do better. You can't use that as an excuse. Well, I just got in church or I just, you know, I just started this. I'm new to this. Even though you are new, you have a responsibility to seek. The Bible says seek and you'll find. Knock and the door will be open. So if you really want a strong relationship with God, don't live in insecurity. Don't let anybody else beat you up with your faith, but make sure you're doing everything you can to learn and grow in Christ, all right? That's my faith walk for the day, ladies and gentlemen.